Oh, it's cool, SO19. When dinosaurs walked the earth. This bloody great horse. <laughs> the time I went for a drink with you, I ended up dancing half naked in a Greek taverna. <laughs> Thought they'd pensioned you off by now. I very nearly did go. You look happy, Viv. Just drive, Tony. Take your hands off my bum, Tony. Absolutely, Guff. So what am I? Scared. The black-haired child got killed last Friday. Did you say D.I. Burnside? <laughs> You're nicked. Word also has it, he's a contender for here. Over my dead body? Burnside? Bent Burnside? Korvich's problem is how to launder the money he's made from drugs. Now, the plan is to buy up pubs. Free booze? It's got to be worth a risk. It's Frank Burnside. Yeah, the one and only. And I don't forget he's a free man. They couldn't stop him. Hello, Rich. You don't know what you're dealing with. Somebody does me down. I don't forget. Do you fancy a trip to paradise? Go away, Burnside. St. June. Has anybody seen Burnside? You tell Frank Burnside he's a dead man. Bingo. This place is so bloody clean, I was beginning to think I was working with androids. You're a lecherous, conniving bastard with a vicious streak, but at least I know where I stand with you. You know, that's the nicest thing you've ever said to me, Chris. All you... I ever hear in this place. I pulled a right go on last night. What are you talking about? What's your idea of a really good time, eh, Dave? Knock them about a bit. You know your trouble, Kath. You need a good seeing to sort you out. Maybe I didn't love you. Quite as often. Sounds good to me. But while you were working the angles, picking up rank, I was working the streets, picking off villains. Two tips. Give it to, you to your solicitor. I'll put it to your friends at parties, whatever. Yeah. Dry white wine and dead things on toast. DCI Burnside. Fifth guy up. Oi! John Petrie, I'm arresting you for living off immoral earnings. We're laughing, you mate. Where's your search warrant? In the post. No. Arrest her and all. I haven't done anything. Grab my arm on the way in. I could be in physio for months. Sure you caution them separately. Go by the book. Do what? Put a face to the victim. Play on his guilt. You're gonna make us money in business management. Burnside, are you selling timeshares in Malta? You have got to authorise it, sir. The British FBI. You destroy them upstairs with rational argument and ten minutes later you're compromising your career like an overgrown bouncer. He doesn't trust you. Why should he? Last time I was here, I was the one in the cell. Frank Burnside Marketing and Contracts. Mm. You name it, we cover it. You are a user and an abuser. You want to take it easy, pal. Too much stress can be a killer. Safer if I call you. Safety first, that's my motto. Safety first and no comebacks. Well, you don't think I came here just for the curry, do you? Have you ever come across Frank Burnside? Only by reputation. Let your head disappear too far up your ass. I am privileged. Two DCIs. Things have changed, Frank. Yeah, I suppose they have. Well, for a start, I don't have to call you sir anymore. Well, you can if you want. <laughs> Frank was promoted in the field. You can't swag around like you own the place. Why not? Always used to. Because I do know which hand to hold my knife and fork in. What would you say? Yeah. Sun, sea, sand, and a leg up a greasy pole. Telling you, Frank, you're a dead man! Promotion? How much do you think he was going to make DCI? So, have you had lunch yet? Lunch is for wimps. Oh, two light scotches, thanks. We well, make it sound as if they're dating each other. But, Jack, you've got to do me a favour in return. I hope we can get along. It's Frank. Frank? Well, now is not the time. <laughs> he doesn't want to screw this deal any more than you or I. You got no chance. I think there's been some misunderstanding. You've got a lot to answer for. You two really screwed everything up. Be careful, Frank. I hit him. You got a nice car, you got a nice home. Doesn't worry you that he bashes her up. Uh. Michael is just crazy. You are screwing his wife. And I'll have you. This is Sun Hill, not Sicily. Things could go wrong. Well, that went awfully well. Oh, nasty, nasty pig. <laughs> Get that scum out of here. You no good slag. You feel? Oh, don't uh, worry, pal. I'll see you. I'll see you later. Right smart pair, you two, eh? All right, turn it, come on. Turn it.
He's one of us. I hope this is important. You mean because I'm black? Oh. He is joking, right? Just watch yourself. Fran likes to take a walk on the wild side. Word in your shell, like. Learning the lingo, eh? There is nothing I can learn from you. Burnside, Sunhill Police. It's politics. Are they definitely bent? He's the future, the way forward. It's the arseholes in power you should be getting after. Oh, is that all? Oh, come on, Ted. You and I both know blokes have got out of far worse. I didn't have that prey breathing down my neck. He's like someone auditioning for the Labour front bent. I have read Geoffrey Archer, too. Chase a bit of skirt. Sexual harassment in the police force. You'll have to wait until it's serialised in the news of the screws to find that out. <laughs> <laughs> Need some intellectual stimulation. Puffs. Study of women's career patterns in the police force. So, you're getting all this time off to write a book. A thesis. A book without pictures. Still some dinosaurs in the police. But there are more and more officers with real sensitivity. Please. Please. With Operation Gascoigne. There was life on this planet before Hitler in that slag. Ah, uh, you listen to me. No, you listen to me. Oh, yeah, I met a few of them in my time. D.I. Jobsworth. All the imagination of a dead hamster. I want this sorted now. Oh, now you go. What's this all about, eh? I thought you said we were straight. Ongoing inquiries, Dixie. We just want to ask you a few supplementary questions, that's all. It's nothing to worry about. I already told you everything I know. Come on, Dixie, just get in the car. You get it's a good lad. Like Gary Merrill got the Oscar for Best Supporting Actor. Excuse me. <clears throat> Actually, it was Dean Jagger got the Oscar, Reg. <laughs> Activists as ever. Uh, for the Nick News about what people used to think they'd be when they grew up. And? Well, I was uh, wondering about you, sir. Close the door on your way out, Hollis. Yes, come in. It's a glorious piece of work, isn't it? Lovely. I'm not taking up knitting. 1,000 teddy bears eyeballs. Position. You got my snout! So you're not the great Frank Burnside. I've got to smash him to pieces! Just do it, Jim. You ever get the feeling? The walls are closing in. Have you ever pointed a gun at anyone? No. Hey, now listen to me! You've got to get hold of yourself quick! Otherwise it won't be MS-15 coming for you, it'll be the boys from the funny farm! What's the suit? Oi! Chummy here, back in the building. I ain't finished with him yet. Is that right? Yeah, dead right. All signed and sealed, young un. He's ours. No, he bloody ain't. You've got just about five seconds to shove off and go and sort things out with your governors. I reckon if my mum had wanted me half as much as you lot, I'd have been a better person. Did Alec Peters come up here and check with you about Blakeland? Oh, yeah, in a manner of speaking. What do you mean, in a manner of speaking? Either he did or he didn't. All right, Sarge, he came in here and he went through the motions, OK? I mean, what else could I do under the circumstances? You could have stored them. That's what you could have done. The next time you want me to fight what amounts to being a rearguard action on your behalf, at least leave me some bullets for the gun! Don't you get leery with me, Sunshine. Oh, you reckon I'm leery? Well, I tell you what, Sarge. If that's what you think, how's about me telling you what I think you are? Have a gander. Can I have a gander at that? I don't need to look at it. No, of course you don't, because you already know that after having that body banged up for nigh on 30 hours, you have got sweet F.A. in there. All right, come on, son, get it off your chest. It's a lot easier to work with the system than it is to bend it. I don't like you. I don't like your methods. Bob, you're amongst friends. Well, I don't know how you ever made DI, and how you were missed by Operation Countryman. Now you're out of order, Sergeant. And these tell me my way is better than yours. Well, they can tell you what they like, Mark. Equal opportunities for you. Probably a one-legged black lesbian single parent thing. God, oh, blimey. It's burglaries, thefts from cars, late from church roofs. A whole intrigue full of crimes that lie in the grey area between us and the wooden tops. Sent us away like a couple of snuff-faced school kids. Pounds to a penny to let you do all the dirty work first. No bet. <laughs> I thought as much. Well, I don't think it's funny, Mike. I am choked off with being lumbered with stuff that nobody else wants to do. All right, Ted, keep your hair on. Just as soon as they get us another governor. Yeah? And what were you doing sitting in that chair, eh? Trying it off a size? Now turn it in, Ted. Oh. What's got up your nose? I have been a DS for over ten years. Ten years, Mike. Now that office in there should be mine. Might help. Some job, eh? 
Well, what says the super? Nothing but a load of old waffle. We can't get a thing from criminal records, Ted. The files Yeah, been... pulled. Yeah, I know. The Yard's robbery and murder squad are working hand in glove on this one. The last thing we need at this moment in time, Sergeant, is third part involvement. I mean, when the word grass has carved out. Ah, but I know who he belonged to. You'll never guess. D.I. Frank Burnside. Burnside? Well, what about it? Have one yourself, darling. And we were told to back off, Bob. Down to the yard, boys. Yeah, I mean, you find the loot. Must have taken the cream off it. And then some, I'm telling you, this is the first time in a long while that the super is well chopped. <laughs> <laughs> bit of now, that is a bit tasty. Yeah, you better believe it, sunshine. Go on, set him up on me. Hello there, darling. Sarge. So you can see, sir. It is. It is. It is. No, I, I, I beg your pardon, ma'am. <laughs> Some job. I don't want any handwritten receipts, OK? Oh, and a packet of salted nuts, mate, if you got them. Nice one. Packet of salted nuts. <laughs> yeah, bloke's very funny. He should be on the telly. <laughs> Frat. Something for the weekend, sir. Yeah, yeah. So maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Hi. What's up with you? You want some it? No, mate, he doesn't want anything. We're just having a quiet drink. Shut it, you! You what? He said I was funny. Yeah. Lad here thinks I'm some kind of clown. You are. Look, mate. You said I was funny. Step aside. What are you gonna make us? Try it. Leave it. You what? I said let him go. I can't hear you, Mr. Reardon. Can you speak up, Mr. Reardon? Don't hit me! <laughs> no, don't no, don't me. leave it! Don't hit me! Ah. Don't hit me, Blanzai! Suspect ah. began beating ah. his head on the ah. table ah. and against the wall, ah. causing Blanzai. an abrasion to left side of face ah. and a cut to ah. nose. Ah. Right, ah. do it. Ah. Ah. I'm now terminating ah. the interview ah. with the letter of James Reardon. Now you listen, for old time's sake. Him is what you might say to the police. You being an ex-copper. We even had the ignition rewired for you. Burnside top. Don't yeah. listen to him. Fraudulent. Give you a chance to do some sightseeing. Yeah, it's been nicked. My man said it was guns, for God's sake. You sad git. Is this the way it's gonna be then, Saul? You're gonna let him shut me up the way he did Marky? <laughs> Stay where you are! Put the gun down! I'll see you in hell, Frank. Then I will come after you like a bat out of hell. I'll have your head on a pike. Yeah, well, you're forgetting it's my proverbials that are dangling over the blender. You want Michael Hyde? We do it my way or no way? This is strictly business. Oh. And here's me thinking we were still mates. He's the one who copped up that kidnap down south. He's the one who brought the Met CID sniffing around up here. So you don't play with his train set and he doesn't knock over your sandcastles. Calm down. At least hear what the bloke's got to say. I didn't come here. Wait, Michael. Ryan's on too. All units, go, go, go. Down! No! Back up from the guns! Back away from the guns! Now! Get on the floor, put your hands behind your back! Do it now! Do it now! Hands behind your back! This gun to you, Frank! I swear to God, Phil, on our... Someone question some... My prisoners, I think. No, no, hang on, Dave. This is my arrest. Why are they nicking Burns? To take him back to Sunhill tonight. Mr Burnside wants to do a deal. I'm dead in this town! I'll take my chances. A uh, cup of tea and a bacon roll to go. Sergeant, number four. Welcome to the honeymoon suite. 